Right, uh, a lot of people have been asking me about what I have for breakfast, and um, I'm a bit of a power eater for breakfast. I like to get as much in as possible in as short a time as possible because, as if you're like me, you, you tend to limit your time for breakfast so you can get on the way and start the day. So, I'm a big fan of smoothies because um, you can pack a lot of stuff into a smoothie. So, I'm going to run through my, my quick smoothie and um, You'll sort of see how much you can fit in and make it taste yummy as well. So I tend to like berry smoothies. So I tend to start off with some sort of organic berries. Um, sometimes you get the mixed ones. Today I'm doing raspberry ones because that just tastes yummier. So I tend to do about a handful of those. Great for antioxidants, great for good raw sugar, so they give you a lot of energy through the day. I whack a bit of avocado in because you want to have a lot of fats in your breakfast so you can get sustained energy through the day, get your omegas into you. Um, you won't be hungry for the most of the morning if you get some good fats into you as well. So I tend to whack a good half of an avocado in there as well. Another great way of getting your omegas is your nuts. Um, I tend to sort of mix it up with nuts. Today I'm putting in walnuts because they're yummy with the, the frozen raspberries. So I whack a handful of those into my, my blender as well. Always try and get some Brazil nuts into it. It's one of the great sources of selenium. Um, which is good for our system. So I tend to whack a couple of those and you only need two or three of those in depending on how many people you're making the smoothie for. If I've got a banana lying around, I'll whack it in. I don't always put bananas in, but they're another good source of energy, uh, particularly if I'm exercising throughout the day. I'll try and get as much in as I can in the morning. Um, sometimes half a banana. This one's a little bit outdated, so we'll whack most of that in there. Um, if you haven't got a good blender that blends up the nuts, because um, sometimes nuts tend to get a little bit sort of grainy in your, in your smoothies, I often go for the, um, the ground LSA. I whack some of that in anyway because it's quite nice. Um, but if you haven't got a good blender, I'd probably stick to the ground LSA because um, it's got a good source of nuts in it and you don't have to worry about you know, your blender not being able to chop up nuts. Um, but we whack some of that in anyway. Um, what else have we got? Whack some honey in as well. That's a really good source of energy. As you know, it's a good antibacterial quality as well. If you get some good quality Manica honey, also sweetens it up if you like a bit of a sweet tooth. Um, That'll always make it a little bit sweeter. Uh, what else do we put in? I tend to like it. A lot of people take fish oils. Um, I mix it up with my omegas. I have this one called um, Udos Choice, Udos Oil. It's a plant-based omega. So instead of woofing down some um, fish oil tablets, I tend to alternate between this and the fish oils. It gets a good blend of omegas. Um, and if you're not a big fan of fish oil, um, the plant-based one is, is quite a good alternative as well. Some people are big fans on raw eggs. Um, I am because it's a great source of um, nutrients for sort of eye health, brain health, um, your nerve system, which is obviously what us chiropractors tend to focus on. So I tend to whack a raw egg in there. Um, if I'm making it for the kids and my wife, um, I tend to hide it. You won't notice it afterwards, but um, they sort of freak out when I put the egg in. But it seems to make a nice sort of addition to it. And then the fluid that I put in, I've sort of moved on to instead of just putting water in there, I'm putting coconut juice in there as well, particularly in the summer months. Gives you a good source of electrolytes. Um, it's quite yummy if you get baby fresh, nice organic coconut water. Um, I wouldn't put coconut milk or anything into it. That's pretty disgusting in a smoothie. It tends to get a bit cloggy. Um, but coconut water is fine. And if you've got some good greens lying around, um, I tend to go for kale, spinach, um, rocket. It doesn't really matter. It's quite good to get some greens into it. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing else lying around, so you just whack the lid on, give it a good blender. I won't let you listen to the blending noise, that's not overly good. So I'll blend it up and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. But that's taken us less than a couple of minutes to put together. You can blend it up, put your shirt on or you get dressed for, for, for work and then by the time you're done, you'll have a yummy smoothie ready to go. Okay, so we've finished the blending up. Um, it makes about a litre, a litre and a bit. Sometimes you add a bit of water to it to, to bulk it up a little bit. So it's got, it looks like this. Sometimes it looks a little bit raspberry, sometimes it doesn't. But um, it always tastes nice and yummy, so I tend to pour a bit out for myself, pour a bit out for Katie, a bit for the kids because they love it as well. And um, you're ready to start the day.